Welcome everyone as you join us in praying St. Ignatius' Prayer of the Examen. My name is Sarah G. And I'm Ali Glover, and we're the 2021 Christian Service Captains. Traditionally, people associate Lent with giving up something. That's right, Ellie. Last year we gave up socialising, not just for Lent, but for most of the year. It is also a time of doing something good for others and making a change for the better. Let's ask the students a couple of Lent questions. What does Lent mean to you? A time of sacrifice for better things. Well, it's a time of reflection and celebration at the same time. It means like a giving of time where like Jesus died and sacrificed himself for others. Spending quality family time. Doing what Jesus did, yeah, during the 40 days, yeah. Lent is a time of peace and to, you know, rediscover your center life. Forgiving and atoning for past sins, I guess. Enjoying and being grateful for what I have. Giving up something for the greater good. Lent is a time of reflection and I think it's giving as well. Thinking about what I have to do to be on the same level as everybody else and what I need to give up to do that. Appreciating what you Amazing. have. Amazing. What are you giving up for Lent? Chocolate, as always. <laughs> if I say chocolate, that's my teenage. Overeating. Overeating to the point that's just unnecessary because there's so many people out there that are starving and you know, something I can give out to the world. Eating junk food and eat more healthier. If I say sport, some people will be upset with me. I'll give chocolate a try, why not? Unhealthy food. I would have to give up some of my time where I read and spend some of my time with my family. <laughs> uh, probably chocolate, like I always do. Chocolate. Chicken. Nice. What do you want to do for Lent? Um, reflect. Do a lot of reflecting. Um, spend time with family, because it's fun. <laughs> what would you like to be this Lent? I'd like to be a better, better Christian, better Catholic. What do you want to do for Lent? I'll definitely uh, be supporting more charities, yeah. Thank you for your time. We begin the examine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To make this a worthwhile experience, it is important to centre ourselves. Become aware of where you are. Pay attention to your breathing. Take a moment to just be still. We ask God to be with us during this time of prayer. The Examine's foundation is gratitude. As we begin our prayer, look back over the past week and call to mind one thing or person that you are grateful for. Maybe it was time spent with a family, a conversation with a good friend, a productive lesson, or an activity you enjoyed. Maybe it was a challenge you managed to overcome or a simple well done or thank you for something you did. What are you grateful for right now, at this moment? The second stage of the examen is where we ask the help of the Holy Spirit to make the examen a worthwhile one. We pray to be more aware of and open to God's Spirit in our lives so that we may approach life in a more meaningful and balanced way and to see things from a better perspective. The third stage of the examen is the review. St Ignatius encouraged his companions to look at their daily routines and to identify what was consistent with God's plan for us all. It's a broader focus than just yourself. Look back over the past week and ask God to show you a moment where you felt God's presence. You might not have called it that. Where did you feel most alive? Where did you feel joy or peace? Maybe you're relaxing, doing some exercise, 
finishing something you would be putting off, helping someone, a friend or family member. Go back to that moment and dwell there. What did you notice about it? How did you feel at that moment? Thank God for the graces you received. The fourth stage of the examine is forgiveness. Ask God to show you a moment in the past week where you came up a little short, where you were not the person that God always invites you to be. Where did you respond to those around you with ingratitude or without kindness? Was there a moment in the past week where you acted like someone only for yourself and not for others. Ask God's forgiveness for this. The fifth stage of the examine is change. In this season of Lent, what is one thing you would like to improve or change? Think of something meaningful you can do to help someone or a concrete action that is more in line with being the person God wants you to be. Having prayed this prayer, what would you like God's help with? Be bold, don't be afraid to dream. We will finish with the St. Ignatius Prayer of Generosity. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wounds. To toil and not to seek for rest. To labour and not to ask for reward. Save that of knowing that I do your holy will. St. Ignatius, pray for us. In the name and of the, the Father, Father, the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, everyone.